I was doing a tour next door, you were touring over here. We were switching and swapping and crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to the vlog. It sure is cold out here today and we're gonna have an insanely busy day. And I absolutely love busy days. Today we have a friend coming in that's a school teacher. He's bringing in his class. I have two private tours, tons of work to do to get ready for Thanksgiving. I tell you what, it's gonna be absolutely an amazing, amazing adventure ahead today. But man, I love days like today. I'm at BHB and I'm actually waiting on my buddy Carl, the teacher that is bringing like nine or 10 kids from his class from Grand Rapids. It is so cool. I mean, literally he keeps like a ton of reptiles. Literally has like a breeding program. So they're coming to tour the place and then also pick up some snakes. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. And then I have two tours over at the Reptarium today. Oh my God, we are booked day. Let's have a great day together. Just got off the phone with Carl. Actually, they're running a little bit late and I actually have a tour here at the Reptarium. They should be here any minute. Lori's gonna spend some time with Carl over at BHB while I'm doing this tour and then uh, we'll see what happens from here. Again, they'll be here any second. And my friend is back from Traverse City. You guys are here to have a good time. Can we do something different this time? What do you think? Okay, I'm trying to think. I'm gonna think of something cool to do with these guys. So last time Owen was here, we didn't have Ben and Jerry yet, so I want you to meet Ben and Jerry. Is it cool or what? Isn't that thing crazy? That is amazing. I know, it's so cool. I tell you, I just love being able to share this animal. Again, I, I, you guys know that I've been dreaming about this forever, about having a two-headed snake and be able to just hand it to somebody like this. This is what I've been dreaming about. There he is, the man, the legend. How are you, man? How are you, man? How are you, man? Good to see you. Absolutely. Hi, Hi guys. How are you guys? Hi, how are you guys? How's it going? I've been going with Lori for a little bit, uh, but we've got lots of fun coming on, so we'll get a chance to talk. So, of course, last time Owen was here, you didn't get a chance to see the little baby alligators, and you were just talking about the roundness of the snout, right? Yeah. Exactly. And if, for those of you guys that don't know, the little roundness of an alligator snout kind of tells them apart with crocodiles. Crocodiles will have a more V and more pointed shaped nose, but. <laughs> What a cute little monkey. And of course, then we have the albino and black alligators. Of course, salt and pepper. I'm super excited to tell you that I have been throwing pellets in the last day or so, and the pellets are gone. But I don't know if pepper is eating them or if salt is eating them. But uh, they are such gorgeous little dudes. What do you think, Owen? They're so cool. Aren't the they colors awesome? and everything. So while Brian's next door doing his tour, I'm left here um, showing Carl's class a bunch of stuff right now. Jessica is showing them some of the baby gargoyle geckos. So I think these guys are enjoying, are you enjoying the tour so far? All right. Are you guys learning a lot? Yeah. All right. I'm trying. I'm no Brian, but I'm doing the best I can. Got the Dialers Python out. Okay, Lori's giving the tour over here at BHB to Warfield's class. You guys doing all right over here? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're looking at the time. What do you think, man? These are awesome. I was just telling Lori we're looking to get into more of these because we've got a ton of crests right now. Oh, do you? Yeah. I was hoping you bought those hundred. I was going to try to buy a couple off of them. <laughs> <laughs> See, Lori? No, no. See, listen to, the you know listen what? to teach. Hook him up. Let's hook him up with the hundred. You never know. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. Target, target, target. Oh, look at me. And becoming the best at it and mastering myself and seeing what I have within me. If you decide to drop your buckets where you are and develop your gifts, I grant you, you will never ever be without. I grant you that your gifts will be First, we've got Teach with us here. Uh, he's uh, got RJ. I'm going to let you release RJ back. All right. Tom, when all right. you're done, all right? Holy light. Let him in. Yep. There you go, bud. Way to go, RJ. Is that thing cool or what? That is outstanding. It's actually Kronos, and he's a little bit hungry today. I couldn't tell. You want to You okay? Oh, wow. He has a really gentle demeanor. Here we go, Joe. Shit. Yeah. That's Ooh. such a gentle oh, demeanor. It's so hard. It's fine. You ready? Job. Now we're bringing Carl's class over to the Reptarium. You just kind of show him around over here. A little bit different over here. This is so cool. Hey, Hello. What do you think? Brian, this is amazing. This is absolutely, it's amazing, man. Oh my God. Oh my God, I want one. 
She's because the enclosure the boy or that we have aren't big enough. It's a boy or girl. It's a girl. Well, she's just so sweet. So we have multiple tours going on today, of course. So I'm looking for like some help. Will you guys? What would you guys do if you guys were the tour guys? Could you help me out with this? I'm a great tour guy. I'm tour guy. You yeah, yeah. Like, you know, show people around. Yeah, what, I've been practicing. Of, what are you gonna do? I've been practicing. Practicing how? This is the thing. I've actually picked up miming on the side. What? Yeah. You can't do it. You can't do miming. Oh, the, That's my whole tour. The rope thing, and then they're in yeah, the box. Yeah, my whole tour is just like. This is a horrible. This no one's gonna want to come. To the no, room. That's, Eric, you listen, got, you got, you got. This is gonna save the day. Listen, to this little cassette player headphones. I'm gonna say you start here and work way around. I'm gonna just start recording on a you tape. A little Walkman. You get a little Walkman, walk and it's like this is the. And it's like so a and so snake. That's Nin right. That's what's up. I don't have to do anything. I These guys, sit down. every time I come to them, every single time I come to them, I think maybe they'll redeem themselves, and they just come up with the craziest stuff. A walk. The best you've got is a Walkman and a mine. Okay. I think that's good. All right, I'm going to get back to the tours because obviously I've got no help coming from these guys. So I have my family. You said you're from Vermont? Delaware. Delaware. Oh. <laughs> They're from Delaware, not <laughs> it's, it's out that way, anyway. So thank you guys. Welcome to my world. Uh, what do you think of Snaz? Uh, he's heavy. <laughs> he is Very heavy. heavy. <laughs> well, I can't thank you guys enough. And you said you do some gaming on YouTube. Yeah. What's your channel? Physic, F Y Z I K, period. Awesome. Go show him some love, please. Uh, we're going to have some fun, guys. I don't always take out salt and pepper, the albino and black alligator, but you guys came a long way, so I thought that I would show you. Isn't he amazing? Yeah. And then this cute little yeah. monkey right here. Unbelievable, huh? Yeah. I figured, you, I figured you at least have something that you could never do yeah. anywhere else, which is, you said you just held your first alligator. Yeah. And now you're holding an albino alligator. How do yeah. you feel? Happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have the crew. We just got together with a little group photo. You guys are heading off. Thank you so much. I appreciate you coming. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. You guys drive safe. You're welcome back anytime, all right, guys? All right. Thank See you. Guys. you. Bye. 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 Thank you. Wow, I tell you what, that was absolutely insane. I've never done like six hours of tour back to back to back that was really a good time i mean we lost so much stuff and look at abasuku oh my gosh slow down girl she is absolutely crazy we definitely got to pull out stuff that we don't normally pull out which is really cool we had such a good time but what an absolutely crazy busy day that was pretty crazy Lori. i mean literally i was doing a tour next door you were touring over here we we're switching and swapping and craziness what thanks a lot for that crazy day what were you thinking <laughs> listen it just happened it was just like you know when the planets align oh my god <laughs> that's exactly what happened like i i had no control they just kind of all everything yeah and uh whatever we got through it <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why we had some people over at bhp was actually it was carl in his school class because again they do a breeding projects and stuff like that so we actually they were picking up how many snakes did they pick up uh there was three boxes three I, don't boxes? I think they said like 40 something snakes so how yeah. cool is that how would you like to be in high school <laughs> and have hundreds of snakes to take care of. I mean, that was cool. So it was a lot of fun, but that was a crazy, crazy day. It was crazy, but it was a lot of fun though. I mean, it was a lot of fun. No, they were, it was crazy you know though. What? The people were awesome. And that, you know, that just makes it that much easier. Like these kids were amazing. They listened, they asked questions, they behaved great. And that just makes the world a difference. <laughs> but next time, let's maybe take a little bit less insanity, okay? So, uh, anyways, we got done with that. We, we survived it. It was great. I did want to give you guys a quick update on salt and pepper because we saw them earlier, obviously, taken out. They seem to be doing pretty good. I do see a little dark spot right here, which is actually food, which means that the albino has eaten a little bit. I definitely think that pepper has eaten more. But I'm still a little bit stressed out, I'm going to be honest with you. Until these guys are really well established, I'm definitely not overly excited about it. I'll be totally honest honest with you, I've never been this nervous about in particular albino alligator. I just want this thing to thrive, so I'm definitely stressed out, but it seems to be doing really well. And then, of course, Pepper is absolutely doing good. Definitely starting to eat and starting to chunk out. I mean, look at how fat its belly is. It's doing extremely well. I tell you what, I think I could actually almost put Pepper back on display so people can come and see it relatively soon, maybe even this next coming weekend. If not, certainly within the next couple weeks. Still probably another two or three weeks away from the albino coming on just because I really want to make sure that she's about this size before she goes back on exhibit.
because there will be some stress with people kind of coming around walking. Not that we're going to be pulling these guys out a lot in the very near future, but still you want to be really well established because after all we want them to thrive and live a very long, long life. As I'm winding down the day, it's pretty interesting as I do these tours, or even for that matter when the zoo is open, that certain animals have kind of surprised me with their kind of popularity or how many people are like, oh my god, that's amazing. Take for instance this mandarin rat snake. I'm going to be totally honest with you. Number one, did I not think that it was maybe going to be one of the big hits of the Reptarium, but also I didn't think it was going to do that well over here. You know, they're a relatively secretive animal and I thought maybe I'd put it on display and within a pretty short period of time I'd have to probably pull it off display. Not only has the animal been thriving here, eating like a champ every single week, but being handled it seems to do so well and again people just seem to really love it. I mean, I'm super happy with the kind of response that I've had with a beautiful animal like this because after all I don't know of any other reptile zoos that you're probably even going to see a man and rat snake, let alone be able to handle one like this. So I am so pleased, but it's just amazing how many animals just like this mandarin rat snake. This kind of surprised me, but I am so happy about it. And with that said, I am going to go ahead and end the vlog. Again, it was an amazing day, a super busy day, unbelievable, but man, was it so much fun. Sometimes I do have to pinch myself and think, am I really living this life? Because it's absolutely amazing. And I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing evening day whenever you happen to be watching. And as always, your support means the absolute world to me, and I truly, truly do love you guys so much. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? And turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video, which is every day, 9 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Leave a comment down below, because I love reading about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone today, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.